Tweeting trans rights is infinitely less valuable than just treating a trans person like a normal human being in your actual content. Why are people saying, uh, that's why people are saying you're virtue signaling. I'm non-binary. Whoa, big reveal. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm non-binary. That's why I tweeted it. I told Slacker three years ago and you can confirm it with him. Ryan Beard knows too. It's why I have long hair. And tweets like that and the response to it is why I will never be public about it. Ever. And if you tell someone about this, we can't be friends about it. Sorry, I'm not a super forgiving person. I'm normally a super forgiving person, but I need to set a line right here. Firmly, do not ever tell anyone about it. And that's why I like trans women. What the fuck does that mean? Just to be clear, he revealed this, not me. Um, but Chud Logic has some company, okay? <laughs> what? Bro, I knew this guy was non-binary for five seconds and he started chasing. Immediately starts chasing. What the fuck, dude? What a horrible way to start this conversation. Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? It's why I like trans women. The pieces were there, bro. I don't know. Maybe I didn't think people would assume I'm trying to have virtue signal with one simple supportive tweet to non-binary people, especially my friends Tom and Nick. I didn't... I know I didn't tell you, but at least trust me that I'm not a virtue signaling faggot. I'm not retarded. I know psychologic. I studied it. I know trans people are mentally ill with gender dysphoria. I know I'm mentally ill and I have gender dysphoria. It's not a fun condition to have. I don't want to be non-binary. <laughs> oh my god, what is this shit, dude? What the fuck? Bro, how would you respond to this? Dude, this guy, I'm, I'm talking to fucking, this is fucking, this is Chuck McGill. Oh, no. Tom, he orchestrated it. I'm not retarded. I know psychologic. I studied it. He defecated through a sunroof. This chicanery. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not retarded. I know psychologic. I studied it. I know trans people are mentally ill. Holy shit, dude. I'm a fucking person, bro. Not an optics machine pumping out a perfectly optical, politically neutral take every day. I'm not a fake fuck like Teffels or any of these woke ass bitches. I'm strong in my beliefs and principles. I don't believe in fairy tale Z slash their shit. So don't even try pulling that on me. Keep quiet and let me be on my LGBTQ stuff. Anything else is fair game. Respect this new boundary I'm placing here. Oh my God. What? I'm sorry, chat. How did Nick fall for the non-binary and I'm the, uh, the BPD thing? Bro, I got hit with a lot of stuff all at once. And he's telling me I can't fucking talk about this shit. Keep quiet. Let me be on my LGBTQ shit. Bro, how the fuck are you going to go on after hours? You think the chat's not going to make a joke? I'm not even talking in these DMs. How the fuck is that going to work? Keep quiet, let me be on my shit. Anything else is fair game. Respect this new boundary that I'm placing here. I love you, man. You're smart, funny, witty, awesome. I'm on frame your friend until death if you want. I seriously love you so much as a friend and as a co-worker. But please, let me do this for me. My bad if it looks kind of sus that I didn't respond, but I've been uh, I've been working on my, my office all afternoon. And try to respect me a little more. I've always known your respect for me, but it might be a tad low. You might roll your eyes and treat me like an intellectual inferior, but this lack of trust of me simply saying non-binary is cool is absolutely absurd, and I need a genuine elology from you. Yeah, I'm just seeing this now. Um, fucking thank you, dude. I'm so tired of being treated like a retard, like the dumbass of the group, because I suffer from mental illness. It's not nice. Hey, dude, um, I get what you mean. I like teasing and shit, but it goes too far.
Like, I'm sorry if you've been made to feel that way by me and the guys. You have at times, and I don't like getting calls. You ramble about shit like pinball and start talking about something different and you ignore it and shut it down in favor of your hobby every time. I never get to express myself around you, and it hurts. And I tried being your friend because I, despite that, I think you're awesome, but I'm closer with fucking Xyle than you. Like, what the fuck? We never do co-op streams anymore, which was super fun. Ever since Augie left and stopped talking with me for six months, I've had to grind away at solo streaming. I like co-op streams. That's why I loved being a co-host. And I lost that. And Dead on Dave sucks ass. And he's not a good replacement. I feel like part of our friendship died when we stopped making content together, thriving off of our creative energy. I know we're co-workers and not IRL friends, but there's a basic level of respect that's not being met for how long we've known each other. And even when I want to do one fun thing, like play a among us, you shut it down. Fucking Among Us. Not even one game. I'm closer with Stardust and Xylee and these random fucks. It's so sad. I hate it. I had to confide in fucking King of Nothing. King of Nothing, listen to me. And you didn't. That's retarded and insane. I've known you for so long. What the fuck? I need you to listen and think about what I said and make a real apology. Not public, no optics, just you talking to me. I think you fucking owe me that if you even respect me just a little bit. A video form, written form, whatever. I don't understand. I understand this is a mistake on your part, but you had no malicious intent, but I think it's a big fuck up. And I don't know if I'm being sensitive, but yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm hyped to get on these mood stabilizers. Maybe I won't be as good at doing Mayo Monkey moments anymore then. There's so much stuff I want to tell you. Mostly positive. And I probably won't be on for a week or two, but I want to have a fun Discord chat about gender, if you're open for that. I'll stay private and I won't bother you with it, but we'll have this theoretical call in a week or two. Also, I'm still he, him, Josh, and I like pussy and women! Dicks on girls are okay too, by the way. I'm not responding to any of these messages. Dude, he's still he, him, Josh from the hood, dude. Pussy and women. But I'll explain later in depth if you want. I'll stop messaging you now until next week. Actually, I'll say this one thing, because it's helpful for you in drama stuff. But gender euphoria is like a hard drug. And I understand why trans people go so crazy on it. It's a good thing, but it's too good. No excuse for Keffels or Chris Tyson. Jen told me some private stuff about her at VidCon. I don't know the updates. What the fuck does that mean, dude? What the fuck does that mean? Bro, what the fuck does that mean? Why is your number one example Chris... Keffels and Chris... What the fuck is that, bro? He got pink filled. He literally got he got stealth. Like, what the fuck, dude? And it's not a fetish. If you want an idea, this freak is what I identify with the most. We don't need a big trans combo. Just you understanding. I sent wrong order because of internet. Okay. Um sick but yeah bye for real this time have an amazing drama filled week dude tons of tea okay last thing i promise i'm making super secret vlogs for my therapy as bi gender can i add you to the email list of friends who could see them if you'd like not that it's cool too if not that's cool too no pressure i'm recording the videos if they're public even though there aren't I'd be down to call whenever you feel like you're ready to hop th into it. I'll check them out. What's your email? By the way, I have a support group of friends that are non-binary. Canada is awesome. I'll show you a pic of us. I'm a bit loopy and mentally unstable, but I'm better today. There's legit anger mom uh, no anger moments though. Super happy. Anyways, I have a support system and I'm doing well and I'm only sharing because you were the victim of my outburst. You're a good friend, but I don't want this to be... 
to touch the commentary community, no offense. I love you, man. You're a good friend. Even though you're not perfect, you try, and I appreciate you. W. Diorio. Hey, Nick, can you give me your email real quick so I don't have to check Twitter anymore? Dude, he never left. He just keeps DMing me. He just keeps sending shit to me. Actually, I changed my mind. My sister told me I should keep the list super tight right now. Good choice. Sorry, bro. Have a good week, man. Don't worry too much about me. Do your thing. It's deleted or I can't access it. That's a tweet. If it's the tipster video, I retweeted it. Also, I hate to ask this. <laughs> you guys probably forgot this was coming. You probably forgot this was coming. <laughs>